Yes, well, we did not do well in the Seattle series, as you all well know. Only took one game there, so we're presently 4-8. and eight. Need some big wins here, especially since we're going up against the division opponent in the Minnesota Twins. And today we've got Ronaldo Lopez uh, pitching for us. Uh, so I'm hoping that he can get us a big win and we can start on the road to winning because we've got to do that sooner or later. Or we're going to fall too far out of this race. So we really are going to need a big outing from Ronaldo. And I'm hoping he gives it to us and, um, and we can go from there. Uh, especially, like I said, against a division opponent. Uh, losses to them are, they tend to be compounded. So, need a big win today, and uh, we're hoping that that happens. See you all out on the ball, on the uh, field. Hello, sports fans and White Sox fans out there. Welcome to another day of White Sox baseball. And today we've got our White Sox going up against division opponent Minnesota Twins. And uh, we'll get right into it. As you heard in the pregame conference uh, by uh, manager Bob Zolke, the team is coming in 4-8, and eight, having lost... Uh, two of the three games to uh, the Seattle Mariners after having taken two of three from Boston. So they come in four and eight. They really need to start winning. Uh, that's got to start sometime very quickly or the team risks falling a little further behind than they already are. So let's take a look at Rocco Baldelli's lineup for the Minnesota Twins today. He'll start off with uh, George Polanco at shortstop. Rosario in left field, power hitting D.H. Nelson Cruz in the third spot. Uh, Miguel Sano will play first base today and bat cleanup. Then you got Byron Buxton in center field batting fifth. Max Kepler in right field batting sixth. The seventh slot hitter is going to be um, Josh Donaldson at third base. Then Alex Avila at catcher, batting eighth, and Luis Arreyes batting ninth and playing second base. And for your home team, Chicago White Sox. This is Bob Zolke's lineup for today. He'll have Lewis Robert in center. Batting second will be um, Lurie Garcia at shortstop. Um, Jose Abreu at first base, Eloy Jimenez in left, um, Encarnacion at DH, James McCann at catcher, Johan Moncada at third, Danny Mendick at second, and Adam Engel patrolling right field today for the White Sox. So we are just about ready to get going with the uh, festivities. And uh, there you can see we've got some the description of the day here. And we're getting set for White Sox baseball. And they're playing the National Anthem.
right. Let's play some baseball. Ronaldo Lopez is done with his warm-up tosses, and the first batter will be George Polanco. And that's going to be, uh, he's issues a walk to Polanco, and that brings up Eddie Rosario. And Eddie Rosario gets a, a high pop-up to Garcia at short, and he'll play it. There's one down for the Twins. And that brings up Nelson Cruz. And he walks Cruz, probably not the most terrible idea around, and that brings up Sano. But he walks Sano, and so now the bases will be loaded for Byron Buxton with only one down for the Twins here. And ooh, that was a big strikeout. Buxton goes down on strikes, and that brings up Max Kepler. And he strikes out Max Kepler to get out of the inning. So a rough inning there for Lopez, but he escaped without allowing a run, and that brings up Lewis Robert to face Rich Hill. And he hits a ground ball out to Polanco, and he's out. He makes the play, and that brings up Lurie Garcia. And Lurie Garcia gets a hole of one, but only to hit a fly ball to Buxton in the center. And that brings up Jose Abreu with two down. And he is thrown out by Polanco at short. Josh Donaldson digs in and he's going to face Ronaldo Lopez here in the top of the second. And it looks like Lopez has a little issue today with his control. Um, he walks Donaldson and now he'll face Avila. And he walks Avila. That brings up Arreyes. And Arreyes gets a hold of a single, and that's going to drive in at least Donaldson and only Donaldson. And so the Twins take a 1 0 lead with no outs here in the second inning. And Polanco up. And he walks Polanco. Not good. Rosario is up, base is loaded, and he walks Rosario. And so now there is activity out in the uh, White Sox bullpen as Ross Detweiler is taking his warm-ups. Nelson Cruz is up. And he does luckily strike out Cruz. The Twins leading 2 nothing with one down and the base is loaded here. And Sano up at the plate. And he strikes out Sano. So now the... the uh, uh, Maybe he's gotten a hold of his command here now. But that's going to be a triple into the gap, it looks like, by Byron Buxton. No one's going to get that one. And that drives in three runs, and it's a 5 nothing lead right now for the Twins. And um, you got to wonder how, you got to ask yourself how much longer they're going to go with, um, with Lopez here. So Zolke does go to the bullpen early, not what he wanted to do, and Detweiler is out at the mound pitching to Kepler. And that's a ground out to Garcia, but the Twins struck for five runs and have a 5 nothing lead going to the bottom of the second. Eloy is up, and Eloy is going to strike out. He goes down on strikes, and Edwin Encarnacion steps up. And Encarnacion gets a hold of one. That looks deep enough. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a home run for Edwin Encarnacion. One flap down. Home run, and the score is now 5-1 Minnesota. James McCann is up. And James McCann hits a single right up the middle, right through the box and up the middle, and Moncada is up. And Moncada gets a base hit. So now the White Sox got something going, and they needed it quickly, too. 
It's just exactly what they needed. Mendick up with one out, runners at the corners. And that is a ground ball out to Arreyes, and that's going to be a base hit. It gets by Arreyes. So the White Sox score another run. It's 5-2, Engel up at the plate. And he hits a, well, that's going to be a foul ball probably right there. <laughs> and he hits, a, he hits a ground ball to second, and that's a base hit. That gets by Arreyes. <coughs> Excuse me. So now the score is 5-3 with Lewis Robert up. Runners are at the corners. And, oh, he's going to pop out to Polanco. It's short. So now there's two down in the inning. And now they need a big base hit by Leary Garcia. And he grounds out to third. But the White Sox do come back and get a good chunk of those runs at the... Um, they gave up in the top of the inning. They get those runs back, and um, Detweiler goes back out to the mound. He's their long man. Hopefully he can hold them from here. But that's going to be a single be between Garcia and Moncada for Donaldson. That brings up a, a Vila. And Avila is going to ground out to Mendick, and that's going to be a double play. So they get the two outs on that play, and Arreyes is up. And it looks like Arreyes is going to fly out to Roberts. So the Twins are retired without scoring a run there here in the third. Still a 5-3 lead for the Twins going to the bottom of the third, and Abreu up against Hill. And he's going to hit a ground ball out to Polanco, and that'll be, he'll play the ball, and that's an out. Eloy Jimenez is up. He'll swing away, and he is going to strike out. He goes down on strikes, two down for the White Sox. And Edwin Encarnacion is up. He'll swing away. He hits a ground ball out to Sano, and he's out. So now played the ball, and so now we go to the top of the fourth with Polanco up. And he goes down on strikes. One down. Eddie Rosario is up. And he's going to line out to Abreu. Makes the play, two down. And Nelson Cruz, the home run hitter, Nelson Cruz. And just as I say it, Looks like he hits one deep enough, and that's going to have the distance. Gets a home run out of that, and now the Twins take a 6-3 to three lead with Sano up at the plate, and Detweiler strikes him out. So we are going to the bottom of the fourth. The Twins took a uh, extended their lead to 6-3 in the top of the fourth. We're in the bottom of the fourth. McCann up at the plate. And McCann takes his walk from Hill. Moncada's up. And Moncada singles right up the middle. The White Sox may be starting another rally here, which they absolutely need. Danny Mendick is up. And he's going to go down on strikes. So that's one down in the inning. Adam Engel is up. Adam Engel hits a ground ball to the pitcher. And that's a double play. They turn the double play and get out of the inning without any further damage, unfortunately, for the White Sox. And that brings uh, Byron Buxton to the plate to face um, Detweiler, who is still out there. And that's going to be a fly ball to Lewis Robert. One down. That brings up Max Kepler. And Max Kepler strikes out. Detweiler is on top of his game. It's just, uh, you know, the White Sox have to hope they didn't bring him in too late. And Donaldson hits a ground ball to Garcia. Garcia up with it and over to first, makes the play. That takes us to the top of the order and Lewis Robert facing Rich Hill.
And Lewis Robert hits one in the gap. Does that have the distance? No, it's going to be a double. But Lewis Robert is on second base with no outs, and Lurie Garcia is up. And he hits a ground ball to Donaldson, so nobody goes anywhere. Robert's still at second. One down, Abreu up. And Abreu takes his walk. So Hill now is having a little problem with control. And you got um, Jimenez up at the plate, but he goes down on strikes. Runners at first and second, two down, Encarnacion up. And Encarnacion goes down on strikes. Hill gets him to bite on that uh, down and away slider. And now we go to the top of the sixth. With the score still 6-3. Minnesota leading by three runs. Avila up at the plate. Detweiler still out there pitching, giving it his all because he really needs to. They got to cons um, conserve the bullpen here. Luis Arreyes, and he's going to strike out. He goes down on strikes. There's two down. And that brings up George Polanco. And George Polanco hits the ball to second. Mendick throws it, and he is out. So we go to the bottom of the sixth. White Sox need three runs. They've got to come back. They got, they got to, you know, you want to see them mount a comeback here. And uh, no, they throw, they throw McCann out by a step, and that brings up Johan Moncada, one down here in the sixth inning. And he takes a walk. So Hill's still struggling with a little bit with command here. Mendick is up. And Mendick is going to hit it to Donaldson, who uh, gets the force at second. There's a fielder's choice. And now Mendick is at first with two down and Engel up. And Engel's going to strike out. So, uh... Looks like Zolke went to the bullpen again, and he brings in Aaron Bummer to pitch to Eddie Rosario. And he grounds out to Mendick. There's one way. Nelson Cruz up. Nelson Cruz one for two today with a home run. He hits a ground ball to Garcia, and Garcia can't make the play. Cruz is safe. Sano is up. And Sano takes a walk. So now the Twins ha have a little bit of a rally going themselves. Two on with only one down and Buxton up. And in a, a real lack of control, Bummer walks him as well. And so now the bases are loaded with Kepler at the plate. And Kepler goes down on strikes. So Bummer gets a key strikeout right there. Two down, bases loaded, Donaldson up. And he gets Donaldson to bite, and that's the end of the inning. He gets out of the inning, and no runs for Minnesota in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And we got the seventh inning stretch going. Lewis Robert, top of the order for the White Sox. And the Twins have brought on a new pitcher. Matt Wisler is on to pitch. And he's going to line out. He hits a line out to Rosario. That'll be one down. Lurie Garcia is up at the plate. And that's going to be a ground out to Sano. And Abreu is up. And he gets a brave to, to bite on that uh, down and inside fastball. And so the uh, Twins are out of the uh, inning. And they're going to come up to bat, top of the eighth. Bummer's still out there. 
Zolke, not a big proponent of only putting a guy in for just one inning or just a couple of batters. Avila's up. And Avila hits a ground ball to Mendick. And Mendick makes the play. Polanco is up. Two down. And he's going to line out to Abreu. So, no runs for Minnesota in the eighth, but the White Sox have got to get going here. Eloy Jimenez is up to face Whistler. And that is a pop-out. And no, no, he can't make the play. He, so he uh, went back on the foul ball, but he couldn't. He was unable to make the play, and so Eloy has another life. And with that other life, he actually hits a ground ball to Donaldson at third, and Donaldson makes the play. There's one down for the White Sox with Encarnacion up at the plate. And he goes down on strikes. So the White Sox needing three runs, and now they're just down to four outs left. And that brings up James McCann. And McCann is going to line out the Donalds. So that is, that's what you got. We're going to the top of the ninth. And Zolke's going to the bullpen again. He brings in Matt Foster to try to hold it right where it is with Rosario up the plate. He hits a ground ball out to Mendick, and Mendick scoops and makes the play. Nelson Cruz is up. Nelson Cruz has a home run this game, but right there he strikes out. Foster gets him to bite, and that's going to be it. Um, two down, and Miguel Sanoa. He hits a fly ball out to left field. Jimenez is on it. And he makes the play. So now here the White Sox have got to have three runs to keep this game going. And they're going to lead it off with Moncada. Whistler is still out there. It's a little surprising, but he is. And that's one down. So now the White Sox are just down to two outs. Mendick up. He swings away. And he hits a ball. Looks like it's going to go over Buxton's head. Back to the wall. And he gets a triple on that. That's nice. All right. So we've got a man 90 feet away and angle up at the plate with one out. And Engel hits a single in the hole between Polanco and Donaldson, and that scores a run. And the White Sox are now down by two, still with two outs remaining that they have to work with. And Engel is off trying to steal, and he's thrown out. So they, they took a gamble. It didn't work. And now Lewis Robert is up at the plate. He'll swing away. And he's thrown out, and that is going to be it. We'll go, to the, we'll go get the box score. So the um, White Sox drop a very important game, 6-4. To the Twins. Lopez only lasted a, an inning and two-thirds, gave up two hits, five earned runs, walked seven, but struck out four. Detweiler gave him a chance. He kept him right in the game. Four and a third innings, two hits, one earned run, no walks, and struck out five. And Bummer uh, came on. He pitched two innings, allowed no runs, and Foster pitched one inning, and only then allowed no hits and no runs and struck out a man. So the bullpen did a pretty good job today, but Lopez didn't give him a chance. He gave up too many runs too early. There was no chance for the White Sox to get back in it. Please stay tuned for the post-game uh, press conference for manager Bob Zolke. Hey, well, obviously that's not what we wanted. Um, Lopez just... He didn't have it today. 
And by the time I got him out of the game and got Detweiler in there, it was essentially too late because we only scored four runs. And the Twins had five by the time I had Detweiler in the game, so they would have won the game even, um, you know, even if, uh, well, I mean, they would have won the game. So, um, it was just, just one of those days. Um, unfortunately, that drops us to 4-9, and it was a key loss to a division opponent. Uh, so, we are going forward we really have got to start winning games. Uh, today, I didn't think the hitting was too bad. I mean, we did score four runs, and uh, we did have uh, two home runs. So, uh, it wasn't, or did we have? I'm not even sure. I don't even remember because it's just one big cloud of a terrible start to this season. But anyway, we, um, we've got to start, we've got to start putting all aspects of the game together. The pitching, the hitting, the defense. The defense was good today. The pitching was good in the bullpen. I like the bullpen work, but we can't give up five runs in the second inning by the second inning and expect that we're going to stay in a game like that. So that was a little uh, that was a little disappointing. Hopefully, we can regroup, get back on the horse, and get back out there and start uh, winning soon because we can't keep playing like this for too much longer and expect that we're still going to be in the race. So anyway, um, yeah, real disappointing loss. Got to regroup and go get them tomorrow.